Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. Uh, sometimes you get some really good knockoffs, sometimes you get some yeah mm, <laughs> ones. Uh, this is actually by Black Mamba. They are back. This is their HMK09F Interstellar Night. It's obviously an oversized version. It's an oversized version of the Studio Series Prime. Again, uh, but this is a very low budget entry. I want to say it was around the $50 mark, I think. Uh, so it's definitely one of the cheapest entries into that oversized market. Quick look around the box. We have, uh, that's it. Have that on the both sides. Let's crack it open. And here he is, out of the package. Uh, from here, he doesn't look too bad you know he's not a terrible figure he just needs some work out of the box uh, i'll show you what i mean <laughs> oh i mean that is bad that's one of the worst ones i've had in a very very long time. Nothing has been tightened correctly. Everything is incredibly loose. Uh, just look at his natural posture because all of these joints are loose. Uh, you can get in and tighten them all up, which I'm going to have to do. Yeah, it's just screws on the basic joints. I mean, there's a die cast in the feet. So there's a lot of heft. So to put it all on one loose screw, uh, yeah. But I guess when you're paying this kind of entry level, you don't get people checking how taut screws are, I guess. <laughs> we do get a couple of accessories. We get a little cannon, which fits over where his hand is. And we get a blade as well which can just slot in beside the fist. That is all we get accessory wise. I mean, where we have a market that consists of the likes of the 3-0 statues or the MM-01 Prime or even the Fire Scorpion. I think that was what Wei Zhang called theirs. They were all very high end, very kind of screen accurate takes on this character, but you were also paying that kind of higher end price. I will do a comparison just to get some on here so you can see. But I mean, this isn't a bad bot. He does look kind of cool. I actually got him solely for his alt mode because I wanted a low cost truck. I like to have uh, bots and vehicles. I'm slowly trying to build up the vehicle modes again, and I thought he would be a really good option for this. Well, but like I say, if he's tightened up, he could be a pretty decent desk bot. But should you really have to do that sort of work straight out of the package? Mm, probably not. Here we have a clear kind of comparison between the levels of detail and accuracy. But then that is heavily reflected in the price difference between these two. I mean, yeah, he's, I think he's actually a smidge taller as well. It's exactly what you pay for, isn't it? Uh, you want to get screen accuracy. You want that complexity. You want the high end, a thousand point transformation. And then, yeah, you go towards the higher end third party figures. But if you want a dirty, cheap, kind of imposing prime for 50 bucks, I think I could go into Toys R Us and you could still buy Studio Series figures for more than that. So I guess that's not actually that bad a deal. Let's see. These, these are the biggest gripe for me. You can't really hold a very kind of dynamic pose because there's so much motion on those arms, but it's not a bad head sculpt. Sculpt is kind of nice, but even that feels... 
very light, very thin. But it is what it is. And what it is is a cheap entry level oversized transformer. Uh, let's get him transformed up. You want to open these up. This is going to come upwards and outwards. Oh, come on. There we go. That comes up. And then this is going to go inwards. These are then going to close back off and jab in. This section here is going to pull down, hinge this section at the waist. Wheels can flip out on either side and this whole upper torso piece is going to rotate. We have tabs in the arms which open up allowing for the fists just to pop in and that's the same way if you want to add your cannons you can just pop those on and we've got this groove here which allows for our energon swords and then we have this section here which is going to unfold from those hands and then we have these sections here which fold down as well and this section here which is going to come down so I'll do that for both sides there is some sort of order to my mess here at the moment uh, this section is going to rotate so which allows this section to come to the back and um, to have this piece it's going to come in and this whole piece here is going to rotate around on that hinge just underneath like so and then excuse the scraping on the desk there and then that's going to slide under like so and like so then bring that up and that's going to push and tab in and tab in come on there we go and it's at this point here we realize that these are on the incorrect arms this one should be over here this one should be over here those are reversed because when they fold down this should tab in to here which is um yeah that's handy isn't it <laughs> oh dear it just gets better it's better I, I hadn't actually noticed I hadn't noticed until now it's actually the first time I've transformed him. I've just had him stood up on the shelf. But uh, yeah, there you go. You live and you learn. To disengage these legs, at this section here untabs. And then this pulls away, which allows this section here to lift upwards. The feet then rotate. And you notice there's a small tab on the inside of that foot. So when you place that in, it should push, lock, and locate these sections underneath fold and they help lock in the knees as you can see here i've slid the weapon in between the legs and then these just tab in together this section is going to come down so it faces like so and then these are going to slide inwards these tabs are going to go together and they'll slide into this center piece here and we have this section here which is going to tab in on here and then it's just a matter of putting all of these into practice which is easy said and done when the figure is a flippy floppy mess and then using this double hinge here this is going to slide down like so i think that's that's kind of it and then we're meant to close these off but we know that we can't um that, that, that's kind of it. If you find these videos useful, why not head over to ShowZ or Gundammit using the link in the description below. Before you make that purchase, head up to the top of the page on the support your favorite reviewer tab and type in Benz. That'll help support the channel and keep these reviews coming. And that's kind of it. Uh, this is meant to fit in there as well, but...
please don't roll. Uh, I love how the artwork on the box is for reference only. You think? <laughs> this packaging picture is for reference only. Please refer to actual product. <laughs> oh, it does the job. It does the job. Uh, this has come unplugged as well. Yeah, nothing wants to stay plugged in. Everything's a little bit loose. Stay, stay. You plug one thing in and everything else kind of unplugs. But there we have a vehicle mode. It's not the vehicle mode, but it is a vehicle mode. Let's bring in some more of my Transformers. Do not have any of the Rise of the Beasts or Bumblebee movie vehicle modes at the moment? I do have some other vehicles just to give you an idea. So it's not a bad size. Not a bad size at all. And it will do me for my vehicle. It actually reminds me very much of Beast Hunters Prime. Uh, so there we go. It's, <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. It definitely needs some work. I think if you've got a good kind of customizing ability, I think you could do some really nice work with this. Drift is so nice. I really need to review this. And him. And him. <laughs> I'll get around to it. I promise. But there we go. There's Cheapy Cheapy Prime. It, it's not bad. It's not good by any means. And I'm going to have to figure out a way. I imagine I can just unpin these. They didn't look like they're uh, glued or anything. So I think I could probably just unpin these and flip those around. It's already like damage to the paint and scuffs where these have been inside his chest. But all in all, it is a Prime, it is a vehicle mode, and it is an entry-level, very low-budget alternative for those who don't want to spend big bucks on screen accuracy. If you want something you just mess around with, play around with on your desk, uh, this isn't a bad option. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it's going to need tweaking, things are going to need tightening. With a little bit of kicky, a little bit of tightening of those screws, you could have a half-decent figure on your hands. I'll look at the link in the description below where this can be purchased if this is for you. As per the advertisement, if you do go to ShowZ, please feel free to use the creator code BENS, which helps support these channels. And until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all very much for watching. Ah, goodbye.